Hey there, Vuforia developers. I'm Jake Steinerman. I work in augmented reality at PTC. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps of creating a model target in Unity. Model targets are a unique and powerful feature in Vuforia Engine that use actual 3D CAD data to offer more accurate tracking. This feature sometimes gets confused with object targets, but there are actually a few differences. Object targets are created by scanning a real-life object with your phone, like a toy, and using that scanned model as the target. ARKit and Vuforia offer similar functionality. It's fast, easy, but also can have some trouble with consistent tracking in different environments and isn't designed for larger objects. Model targets don't involve scanning and use the CAD models instead. Using the 3D data makes the recognition and tracking of objects faster and much more robust. The digital models only require accurate geometry, texture is optional. Model targets can work in a variety of different lighting, on larger objects like cars, and is excellent for industrial machinery, home appliances, and tools. Model targets can be created with or without deep learning, meaning you can enhance your target with AI when needed for instant tracking without a guide view. This video will focus on the creation of model targets that aren't using AI. Now, let's jump in on how to make a model target. Before we get into creating your model target, there are a few things we'll need. Unity 3D, the Vuforia model target generator, a physical object you're going to want to augment, and the matching 3D CAD model for that object. When choosing an object to augment, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. Make sure your object has sufficient geometric detail and is a rigid object. Model targets work great for a variety of objects. The more detailed, the better. To optimize your models for even greater performance, here are a few optional tips. Reduce your 3D model down to just the parts that the camera will see to recognize the object. For example, for a vehicle, just use the exterior, not all the internal componentry. Colorize the model to help Vuforia Engine distinguish separate parts and edges of the model. This is a process we call bubble gumming. Now that you've optimized your CAD file, it's time to create the model target. First, download the model target generator desktop tool from the Vuforia developer portal. It's under downloads and then tools. Select create a new model target and import your 3D model. In this video, we'll just be showing the standard model targets, not the ones using AI. With standard model targets, you need to choose a single specific angle that will be used to activate the AR experience. Here's a tip. Remember to put yourself in your user's shoes. What's the most common way they look at the object? Next, confirm your model attributes are set correctly. Let's go through them all. First, there's file units. This is the scale of your model target that should match the scale of the real world object that you're augmenting. Next, the up vector. Depending on the characteristics of your model, ensure this looks correct in the model target preview. And motion hint. Will the object you're augmenting be moving? For example, a toy in your hand? Or will it be stationary? For example, manufacturing equipment. Choosing the correct motion hint can help with model target performance. Once these attributes are set to your specifications, click Generate Model Target, then hit Continue. If you want to test your model target before bringing it into Unity, Vuforia offers a model target test app that you can install on an Android device. When your model target is finished generating, click the link to be taken to the destination folder of your dataset. In that folder, open the dataset subfolder. Drag and drop the Unity package file into the assets window of your Unity project. Then click import in the window that appears. In your Unity project's hierarchy window, ensure that you've added the Vuforia AR camera asset and an app license key in the Vuforia behavior script. As a note, a free developer license key can be used to test the model targets feature. If you plan to publish the application to an app store, you'll need to purchase a license. There's a link in the description where you can check out our licensing options. Once the license key has been added, right click in your scene view, add Vuforia Engine model target. Then, in the properties of the model target over in the inspector on the right hand side, choose the database and model target of the target you just created. You should see a 3D preview of your object in the scene view. 
This preview object won't be visible in your running scene, so don't worry. Add your augmentations as a child object to your model target asset in your scene and align them relative to the 3D preview. Once complete, click play to test out your model target using your machine's webcam. And here's the result of the model target I was working on. As you can see, model targets have very fast detection and robust tracking. Movement, lighting change, and even slight adjustment to the physical object don't disrupt the experience. I hope this video was helpful to all you Vuforia developers out there. We plan on making some more videos in the future. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see 